okay uh, this is actually our complete data set and here I have a data set of a high performance work system and then anxiety and then you see that job burn out then role overload and then next is counterproductive work behavior so this is our data set and now when you go to see that I've labeled it as item 1, item 2 because I know what actually items are so I just instead of just writing statement I have labeled them as item 1, item 2 so to perform liability we go to analyze click on analyze and what we do we just come down and click scale then reliability analysis like this so you see that you have got all the variables over here all your items so what you're actually going to do you what you have to do you have to select all of the items of a variable and put them into items bar you can do it one by one like this but what best is that you select all of them at once because all of the items are going to be selected to check the liability of a variable for one item you have to select all the I for one XT sorry variable you have to select all the items of a variable at a time and then solve them independently you can select all of the items at once but for one variable you have to select all its items at once then go to statistics then click on item and then scale if item deleted why did we select scale if item deleted I'll tell you when we perform the liability analysis so after this you just have to click on uh, continue so let's go on to click on continue so this scale if item deleted and then continue like this so after this model we need Cronwick alpha so alpha is fine and then ok so this is your output window where you have got the results you see we check the liability for high performance and this 0.702 which is actually number of items are 7 and 0.702 is greater than 0.6 so this is our accepted liability let's get back down and see here there are different items of our construct and then there are alpha value of our each of the construct 0 0.683 0 0.615 and then you see the highest is 0 0.806 for item 7 suppose suppose this is the highest liability in our data in our output so if you go back to analyze and then back to okay scale and then liability analysis click on it you see that after de deleting this seventh you're just going to get the reliability that is mentioned in front of scale if I suppose this in front instead of 0 0.702 we have less than 0 0.6 that is 0.5 we're just going to suppose it and here we have all the liabilities of our item that are going to be uh, we, that are going to be formed when we delete one of them so that is actually our liability 0 0.5 we're just supposing it to be 0 0.5 and then we come down and see that other items have liability for example seventh item has it as 0 0.806 what we are going to do go to analyze then to scale and then reliability analysis put seventh item back just put it back and then we have the same settings click on statistics you have the same settings continue and then ok now your reliability is 0 0.806 when you have deleted the seventh item so in this way when you get less reliability for an item for example 0.6 you just have to check them in other items like this if there is reliability that is the greatest and it is greater than 0.6 so you can just go on to delete that item and will get the your desired reliability so let's delete this one because our reliability was greater like this you can delete it you can have this cut and cut this as well so let's perform liability for an other variable just to check it okay here we don't have it go to analyze and then what you have next to do you just have to go to scale 
and then after scale click on reliability analysis put them back put all of them back you can click on shift and then down button to put them back click on anxiety take all of the anxiety items then go on to okay like this this is fine okay up to counter work behavior we are going to perform reliability not for gender age and qualification because there are nominal variables they are not going to have any reliability so reliability will be okay put it back will be performed up to counter productive work behavior so bring it back okay now you see you have to go to statistics click on it and then i continue you can go in, you can reset it as well for when you reset it all your settings will be deleted click on display variable names again click on anxiety let's take a look what happens when you reset it click all of the items then statistics now you see now your options have been deleted so you again have to click on item and scale if item deleted so you have to remember whenever you're going to click reset all your settings will be back to their original form so continue and then okay now here we have reliability 0.577 so this liability is less than 0.6 now look over here what liability is greater here this is 0.615 for item 4 so what we are going to do we are going to delete item 4 so let's take a look go back scale liability analysis and then put your item 4 back like this click ok and then you see what reliability is 0.615 so this is how reliability is performed for each of our variable and then items so in the next lecture uh, we are going to perform demographic analysis on our SPSS data so stay tuned to our next lecture